Okay. Welcome to week number two for Sharon. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Hi Sharon. Hi Jody. You okay. You've got a very beautiful lighting today. Have I? Oh, thank you. Don't you think? <laughs> it looks like you've got a nice purple uh, ray coming on. That'll be the marine tank. That'll be oh, my husband's <laughs> marine tank. Yeah. <laughs> Or is it just your lovely glow from working it's, this evening? Yeah, it'd be my aura, <laughs> my work aura. <laughs> right, so what happened on the scales? Oh, um, everything was fine until last Wednesday when I got a call from Ofsted to say that they were coming to do my Ofsted inspection the next day. So that was like no sleep for all the next day until they'd been... And it was a good outcome. Um, but yeah, that did have a bit of an impact, I would say. Because I didn't eat for a whole... For the, since getting the phone call and then the inspection, I didn't eat until yeah. after that. So yeah, a bit of a blip, but back on track now. So what happened on the scales? Uh, it went up a bit. I don't know why, because I didn't eat. But obviously, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> But uh, it went up, and uh, but it's coming back down again. Okay, fab. So have you been tracking? I have. I've been a bit better this week. Um, and I've been to the gym, um, went on the treadmill for a bit, and yeah. uh, got rid of 370 calories So during an episode Great. of Heartbeat. So that was quite good. <laughs> it made it a bit more pleasant than just pounding away. Um, but I've realised this week that I'm just not being active enough. I'm really yeah. not. And that scuppered me last week because obviously it was all hands to the pump, making sure, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure everything was okay. Um, so, yeah, this week, um, you know, I'm going to do a lot more exercise. Um, right. But I've just weighed myself, so it is coming back down. Fabulous. That's good. So let's have a little look through your food diary then. So today you've had a bagel this morning with jam. Yeah, and then it's what lunch, I really fancied. That's okay. Uh, for lunch, you had salad with smoked salmon and lots of other salads, and even avocado. Mm, yeah, it's lovely. Very nice, that was. Are you going to have something tonight? Yeah, I see, this is a problem. But I made a chilli earlier, so I'm going to have a little bowl of it. I don't, I'm not really hungry. I don't really want too much. Yeah. Um, but Liz... Liz has just bought grapes and uh, donuts in. Oh, and that was a bit of a test. But I took the grapes. I'm proud yes. of proud you. Can have the grapes. Fill your boots with the grapes. Yeah, that was it. But at least she gave me an alternative. Yes. But yeah, good. I didn't really fancy the donuts. It wasn't that hard to resist. I thought, no, I'm going to keep my head focused. What kind and of donuts were they? Oh, they were like raspberry jam, massive donuts. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be around oh. in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Lunch um, yesterday was a chicken and bacon pasta salad with yeah. a pepperoni as a little snack. Yeah, that was it. And then for dinner was salmon with mozzarella, tomatoes and lettuce. And then the snacks were a couple of satsumas. Yeah. Sunday, banana for breakfast, uh, seafood sticks and Weetabix. Was this together in one bowl? No, I just, when I got in from work, because uh, I think I worked Sunday morning, and when I came in at dinner, I really fancied Weetabix and I'd missed it for my breakfast. I'd only added banana, so I thought, right, I'm having my Weetabix. So, yeah, but I keep going wild on these seafood sticks. Yeah. But they're not too many calories, I don't think so. No. And they've got a bit of protein in as well. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you had a chicken with rice and veg for your evening meal on Sunday. And you also oh, yeah, had one lovely. of the Rocky Road skinny bars. I did. I went wild and had one of those. I couldn't <laughs> yeah. resist. Uh, right. Friday morning, you had a banana. Uh, I know, lunch. it's a bit boring. <laughs> that's all right. I keep having uh, a banana every morning. For lunch, you had fillet of fish, uh, some fries, I did. Uh, I coffee, did. and a cheeseburger. 
I did. I went for it because I'd not eaten for like God knows how many hours, 24 hours plus through the stress of uh, the Ofsted inspection. Uh, uh, Wednesday, <laughs> uh, banana for breakfast. Uh, then you've had some veggie skewers, uh, shish kebab. Yeah. Which anybody who knows a kebab, shish kebab is the healthiest kebab you can get. So well done for mm -hmm. making a good choice there. And then last Tuesday was porridge for breakfast uh, with your banana and then a pear. And then for lunchtime, you had some of the veggie skewers with salad. Yeah, that was it. Great. Yeah, not bad, really, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, considering everything, you've done well, Sharon, to survive. <laughs> oh, gosh, I know. Tell me about it. Ah, it's just a bit of an ordeal you know everything's going to be fine but if there's one piece of paper out of out of place that's it so yeah yeah it was all good and Thank it's you. not what the job's all about the job's really good fun but uh, that side of it is just a bit daunting I suppose yeah good old Ofsted eh mm, yeah <laughs> fab right so what is your goal for next week Definitely get more active. I really have got to start moving a lot more, um, which I thought I would do last week, but with all that on my plate, I didn't. But yeah, I'm determined for this week now. So how are we um, going to achieve I'll, it? What are we going oh, to do? I'm going to go to Aquatone tomorrow. Um, yeah. Then I'm going to spend more time in the gym. Now I've been on that treadmill at the start when I saw, oh, I've burnt 15 calories. But then at the end, I was really happy with myself when I saw what I could do if I just did it for three quarters of an hour. So, yeah, there'll be more of that this week for definite. Fabulous. OK, and just remind me, have you got a Fitbit or a calorie tracker? No, but my daughter Amy has just offered to give me hers. Okay. I was going to buy one, but she's given me hers. So, yes, that is going to help as well. So again, this is just nice just to be able to see that you're not doing too much as well, because you want to try and get to your 10,000 steps every day, but try not to overdo it as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've been way below that. I really have. But uh, yeah, this week I'll have a way of monitoring it. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. How many weeks have we got left? To We've lose got the four stone. more weeks. Four more weeks. And mm. one of my other slimmers has lost a stone in four weeks. So it's wow. all possible. That's good, isn't it? Very good going. <laughs> mm, impressive. Right. So give me the motivation then. I need to get moving more. Yes. Crack on with it. You can do it. Mm. Yeah, I do feel quite positive about it. Fab. Right. Well, have a good week uh, and I'll see you in the morning at Aqua. Yeah, I'll see you there. Right. All Thank right. you, Karen. Sleep well. Yeah, bye. bye. See you. Bye. Bye.